All right, new series of videos, STEMA Sunday. We're going to be talking about STEMA and STEMA QT. It is Sunday. And uh, you released a guide today, Sunday, about STEMA and STEMA QT. It's true. So, Lady Ada, let's, let's start with this. What is, what is STEMA? Maybe we can start off with some actual hardware. Yes. So, uh, STEMA is this connector series that is actually inspired a little bit by um, Pimeroni. They did um, the Octopus board, which its name is, for, is oh, yeah. escaping me, but it had micro USB connectors um, to connect sensors and a main board. And I was like, yeah, like, this is a good idea. We should have ways of like plugging and playing sensors and devices because it's really hard to wire stuff up. And I like that they stuck with I squared C for everything. Yeah. And um, so here's we, some of our boards. So, you've so been we've made on. some. You know, the, the, we don't use micro USB. We use JST PH, which is a really nice, um, common, easy to get connector series. And uh, actually, we came out with a one Stemma sensor board a couple of years ago, and this was the TSL two five six one light sensor, which is a pretty common light sensor. And you can yeah. see it's got. We kind of were starting with like, well, let's start with a round shape, and then maybe you have alligator clips. Um, to connect to stuff. We thought we were going to be doing more wearable stuff. Turns out we actually kind of didn't do as much wearables as we thought. Yeah. So we, um, we don't use those alligator clips anymore. But so you can see like the soil sensor uh, is an example of a Stemma connector Got on it. an I2C device. So you can see you just plug it right into your Metro or what, what have you. And it communicates over I2C. So in this case, uh, we have a little chip that does capacitive moisture measurements yeah because we were asked people are like especially since adabox um i think came nine, out with, nine with ten yeah with trellis um a lot of folks were like what are those connectors and then we have that on our pi badge and uh a couple different versions of that and we also have STEMA connectors on the pi gamer yes and we also have all these STEMA connectors that folks have been well this is the thing i really like this JST PH because so you can have alligator clips on the end and um, I have three pin and four pin connectors and the four pin connectors are always I squared C and I decided to stick with only I squared C to make it really easy to connect devices and also almost every sensor these days is I squared C when yeah. we were first doing electronics there was kind of a mishmash of like UART I squared C SPI but now kind of yeah. everything is I squared C all right so we'll get to that so what's what's uh What's on your oh, so this is, here. Uh, so these are STEMA connectors. This is a Pi Portal yeah. showing the um, STEMA connectors. Okay. And I've locked it so I could maybe bring this up and show off. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so much. There you go. So you can see there's three pin connectors and four pin. And the four pin is I, I squared C. And then these two pins are, um, these ports are, power ground and digital or analog or PWM. So this is great for you want to plug in like a NeoPixel or a servo or a relay. And this is for I squared C only. Okay. And you'll notice, hey, there's no UART. And I've kind of just decided I don't want to support plug and play UART because it never quite works. All right, what else you got? And then I've got some cables. This is an example of, again, a three pin Stemma cable with alligator clips on the end. You can have uh, power, red, ground, black, and then uh, data in white. And then um, recently we've been doing machine learning projects and to plug into the Pi Gamer, we're using a three pin STEMA connector. And this one is going into a microphone. So a microphone is again, power, ground, and analog output. So that three pin connector is good for analog, digital PWM. It's kind of any other non I squared C signal. You can do one wire over it, DHT 22, what, what have you. Okay, and so th since this is our first Stemma Sunday, I thought we'd do two things. One, point everyone to this guide, and Check there's the a guide. few things. One, what is Stemma? What is Stemma QT? Technical specs, Stemma, Stemma QT, comparison, DF Robot Gravity, Seed Studio Grove, and Sparkfun Quick, because it is a little confusing. There are, you know, essentially five different ways to do stuff, but we, um, and we, put this here, and I, and I like what yeah. you said here. Yeah, and it's, it's tough because We want to be as cross-compatible as possible. That's, yeah. our, that's our goal. We want to have something that works for everybody. So we So the challenge was that Grove came first and Grove did one thing that was what I thought was really nice, which was it's five volt or three volt power and logic and each device has logic level shifting in a regulator. So it's it's safe to be used with 
three volt devices or five volt devices, whether it's a Raspberry Pi or Arduino, it kind of works with both of them. Got it. Um, so I like that. And we did Stemma. Yeah, and we later. we had Stemma, which was it. So the the Grove connector is a proprietary four pin connector, and like nobody. I mean, there's a data sheet for it, but you have to kind of only get it through seed. Okay. Um, but what's nice is the JST 4-pin connector, even though it's not the exact same connector, th it does fit into the slot. So I can actually show that off because it's kind of, yeah. people like don't believe me. And I'm like, no, no, it really does. So this is the um, Grove connector. And you can see, oh wait, this kind of got shifted over. So you can see it's got like these, uh, little like notches here, yeah. And if you compare that with um, JSTPH, it's it is a little bit different connector, but oh, yeah. the pitch is the same. So, for example, you if you have this four pin, you can jam a Grove into a Stemma. Yes, it goes in this way. Okay, yeah, it works. And it does fit. Okay, so Stemma is compatible with. So Grove. yeah, you can plug Grove stuff into Stemma ports and vice versa, and okay. it'll work just fine. All right, let's go back to the guide. So it does work with Grove, um, except right. that I only do I squared C stuff because okay. I sort of don't want to deal with other so weird non-standard interfaces on a four-pin connector. Which one's next? So the next one is DF Robot Gravity. Okay, not a lot of documentation on this. There's thing. not a lot of documentation. So this is what I determined. So first off, it uses four-pin and three-pin connectors like Stemma, which is nice. And it's pretty much cross-compatible with Stemma. Like, it's almost identical. Okay. Um, the only thing is there, it seems like everything is three and five volt compatible, but I couldn't find any, like, specifications. Okay. And uh, it seems like sometimes on the four-pin connector, they put UART. And again, I don't like that. So okay. I, I dropped it. Next up. And then uh, Spark Fun Quick. Quick. And they've got, like, the most boards in a family. They've got, like, 50 different Quick sensors. So I was, like, this is a really good, it's a really good specification, and I wanted to make stuff work with it. And it actually uses the same wire ordering as Grove and Stemma. Like, everyone kind of decided on the same wire order, which is at least nice. So you can have um, cables that are cross-compatible. There's one thing to watch out for, which is Quick does not have level shifting. It has to be used with 3-volt logic and 3-volt power, which makes it, you know, less expensive um, to develop, and it's more strict. I get okay. that. They're like, okay, everything is three volt. Just makes it makes things a little bit easier to design in because you you don't have to do any level shifting. However, it means that Quick is not as compatible with gravity or stem or grove unless you are sure that the power and signal is three volt logic. Okay. So that's something to, to just watch out for. So if you're using a board that is five volt logic, five volt power, look for a, a solder jumper. Like here I show, if you scroll down a little bit, on the, the Pi portal, there's a little jumper. Big, see it. the big arrow. And you have to set that from five volts to three volts to make it work with the quick, again, non-level shifted three volt logic and power. That's the only thing, that's the only way, you, I don't think you would like really damage anything, but it, you just have to watch before you connect them. But Stemma, Gravity, and Grove are all three and five volts. They all have level shifting compatibility so quick is the only one that's uh three volt only got it okay so here's a bunch of examples and so that's a nice overview so now if someone's like what's the difference between gravity grove quick stemma stemma qt which ones work stemma qt and stemma most compatible safest yeah. has level shifting and then you just have to look at you have a table that you I actually do a table. you actually like i haven't seen one of these so this is helpful thank you for doing this yeah so stemma qt is basically i just i'm just using that same quick connector and basically, you can use Stemma, uh, Stemma QT devices with Quick. It's, it's essentially the same. The only thing is I always do level shifting and voltage regulation because that's just, I just do that. That's my life. Okay, so, so I we showed some of these boards that have Stemma connectors, but they, we have some upcoming boards Yeah. Uh, so that, that have Stemma. So one thing Stemma I like QT. about the Quick Connects is they're small, so they can fit on these little breakout boards. So, for example, as I'm doing I squared C sensors, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just make them a little bit longer, and then stick yeah. this uh, chainable JSTSH connector. Again, it you know works with Quick just fine. Um, here's like a GPS unit. There's an OLED. So stuff that I'm doing anyways, yeah. if it's I squared C, I just make it work with Quick. Well, why not? It's and here's a, a preview. Makes it easy. We have a giant Pi portal. Um, I think I want to call it Titano. Titano. And then we have the Pi portal Mini which is pint, P-Y-N-T. So all of our boards have this. A lot of people have been wondering, like, oh, Adafruit's been putting these on here for a while. 
when are you gonna? Because it's not you know, a it's not a uh, breadboard friendly design. Yeah. So it's like, how do you let it people connect things? So you can always connect a servo or NeoPixels to the three pin connectors, and then the four pin connector is great for I squared C because almost everything you want to do can be done over I squared C. We have motor drivers, we have sensors, we have actuators, we have a servo driver, kind of everything. So yeah. it is sort of universal and with circuit python and our arduino libraries it also works with almost every platform so i think i scored c1 you know i think if for sensor interfacing it's kind of the winner okay all right so this is our first stemma sunday we'll um be doing more of these especially to show you know probably at least a board a week for a while just like we did with featherwing and you know the old favorites still work and if you want to, oh yes. Yeah, so if you go back, cables. you can see last week we did the. Can you go back to the MSA? Which the, one? The this blue one? one? No, back, back, back. This yeah. One? Yeah. So this is. You can see this is the MSA three hundred one with that low cost accelerometer we were talking about last oh, week. Oh yeah, that was popular. So yes, yeah, so like you can that. see the two stem QT slash quick connectors. And again, the only thing that makes it a little bit different is that you can see on the left and the right, I have a regulator and a level shifter, because I'm paranoid. I just, you know, it's, it doesn't cost that much. It's only like 10 cents. And I've kind of come up with this sort of standard dual BSS 138, the APA, AP 2112 for the regulator. And I just, f I feel kind of a little bit more, even though I know I don't need it, need it, I feel more comfortable having it because I feel like if people accidentally plug it into five volt power, at least, you know, or five volt logic, yeah. they're not going to, break the board. Okay, so that's the differences between all of them. You have a good explanation. And Check out the guide, and if we missed guide. anything, just comment and let us know, because yeah. there's probably other stuff, and <laughs> maybe there's also documentation that we couldn't find. Okay. All right. And with that is STEMA QT, STEMA Sunday. STEMA Sunday.